Yeah. What's your name, baby? My name is Anthony. Is there a manager available? This is him. This, this is him, and you sound like a woman. This is he, you said this is him. Is this a woman or a man? No, this is Anthony. Uh, I do apologize. I don't have nothing against transgender, but is there a manager available? I am the manager, ma'am. Okay. My name is Anthony. Uh, okay, Anthony, I apologize. You could just relax, okay? I, I want to file a formal complaint. Okay. Okay, I came in there yesterday, um, me and my husband and a couple of our coworkers. And um, to, to eat, and um, something very disturbing um, happening. I, I want I, I need to speak to somebody on a high level because I want to get a refund back on my ticket because I didn't appreciate the young lady that was fixing my burrito. Her just the way she acted, period. What was her name? Well, you know, I don't know her name, but I can describe her to the T. She had those funny looking ass eyes. Her hair was like Shirley Temple, and she sounded like she was from out of town. You know, and you know, my husband, he, he met me for lunch, but when, when I, I was in line and, and she seemed like to me, she tried to rush me after she got through, after the young man beside her fixed that case of this, she was, she rushed me because I said, me, 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 I help you, baby. First of all, my name ain't no motherfucking baby. I, I don't like for people to call me out of my name, you know. She was like, well, okay, take your time. Then my husband got in line, she's going to say, how can I help you, sweetie? That, that's very, very un, un motherfucking professional. Don't you agree? Uh-huh. You know, and it made me feel some certain type of way. And then, you know, it was a lot of folks in there, and I, it, it was bad enough was I had to sit right in front of the booth, and as soon as somebody come in the door, she had to whack on the mouth. Every time somebody come in line, how you doing, baby? How you doing, sweetie? How you doing, daddy? Sounds like you should be whacking the hoes, because that's what she was acting like. You know, I, I don't, I, I just, I, I just end up leaving, leaving my food at the table and it pissed me the fuck off. And I said I was going to file a complaint and I, I was very uncomfortable. That's, I felt like I was being harassed. Now, nobody disrespect me like that. I didn't deny no food because the CEO of my company was in there. You know, other than that, I would have probably whooped her ass across the counter. Okay. You sound very nonchalant, Anthony. You sound an awfully nonchalant. Do you even care? Yes, I, I don't, I, I don't, I, okay, I don't appreciate her saying baby to me and sweetheart to me. And it ain't none of my motherfucking business what she said to the person behind me. But the fact that she's calling folks all these old sexual references, that, you know, I, I feel, I feel violated. I couldn't even enjoy my burrito and my husband couldn't even enjoy his taco salad. Now, what you got to say about that? Don't you think that's awfully weird, somebody calling you out of your name? I'm already bad enough. I'm already having, having issues with my husband cheating on me. And then to hear her say, how may I help you, sweetie? How I know he ain't fucked up? You know, I really do feel some certain type of way, and I, I want to refund back on my ticket. And then every time you're sitting there, you know, I'm trying to eat my food, she want to charge me extra $7 for some queso, then... Ding, the door open up, whacking the mouths. It should be whacking the hoe. You don't call nobody I know a name. You, you don't call nobody out there motherfucking name, one. You understand what I'm saying, Anthony? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just so mad and mad I meant to call y'all every bit about that. I, I called and spoke to a young lady on yesterday. She told me to call back for the Operation Clothing. I, I, I don't like it. Now, what can you do for me? Because that's close to my office place, you see. What can you do for me to make, I don't even feel comfortable coming in there no more. So what can you uh, uh, get do for me to reassure me that she ain't going to try to fuck my husband? All right, ma'am. I'll, I'll sit down and talk to her about the way she talks to customers. Obviously, have you heard Have have you heard about this before or something? Have anybody else complained about that? Obviously, because you, you obviously know who the hell I'm talking about. Hello? No. Okay, well, who you who who do you plan on talking to her about? I'm sure it's more than one young lady that work at this office. You just trying to get me out. You just trying to get me out the motherfucking phone. Let me speak to your manager. Let me speak to your manager. <laughs>